So what we get? Dry, you not being very open to new friends and friendships that can blossom into something beautiful. You talk weird. Shit, I don't care about. That ranks pretty high I up there. I don't prefer my sex to be in the kitchen. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Shut the fuck up, faggot. Hey, dude, just calm down. Shut What's your problem? You're pretty stuck that you can't come into my clubhouse. What is up, guys? It's TX Coulter. Hello, all you new subscribers. Uh, this video was thrown up on the Red Dragons channel, and I was just completely raped with subs and I've never felt so good being uh, violated like that so thank you very much which I completely forgot to link the red dragon in my last video and I knew I was gonna try to get him to look at this so go ahead and click that annotation if you guys want to check out the red dragon he is a lot more uh, helpful and just uh, watching him do a tutorial and then listening to myself I sound like I'm just unsure of myself and you know tutorials aren't my, aren't my thing he's a uh, He's much more proper, and he can do tutorials a lot better than I can. But let's actually get back to the gameplay. As you can see, I'm going into my guided missiles uh, mode. Um, I believe that's what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I, uh, I'm high enough up in the air, and I'm far enough away that I feel like I can go ahead and keep the lock on, wait for my missiles to come back, although it is fairly long until those come back and uh, so you can fire again. But I went ahead and just waited, made sure I could take out that vehicle. And uh, right here... I, f I feel pretty safe that I can get away from that water, but what ends up being my problem is I'm tilted left, so what I do, I just let go left trigger. Just let go, see, and then I just balance out, and then I hold the trigger again. So if you're starting to go lopsided and you just feel like you're, like I was taking damage there, I went down to 71%. If you feel like you're just going to keep running into things, and, you know, before you know it, it's going to end up pretty bad, you just go ahead and... Let go of the left trigger, because you're going to keep pushing yourself in the direction that you're going all retarded. So just let go, it will oh even God. out, and then you're all set. So right here, I am being locked on. I believe it's coming from this guy right here, so I do. I keep into that uh, guided missile view, and I confirm that he's there. And then I just go ahead and go in for the kill. So now that threat is eliminated, even if he did get one shot off on me, I would finish him off, or at least two in one swoop. And then I would just fly away. Uh, let my health come back and also let my flares come back. So as you saw there, I was also trying to get that lock on to the skid loader. And especially if any vehicles are moving in like on top of an objective, especially uh, objective B, there's a chance that there's going to be people around that. So when that uh, guided missile explodes, there's a chance that you can pick up kills from just the soldiers around that. See, as a, this is the one fault, is that if you're not very precise or even if you are precise that it also likes to move in between what it's trying to acquire a lock on see right there there's like a, a jeep right there that it keeps trying to get a lock on i i try to stay with it as long as possible hoping like maybe this time it'll lock on it never did so you just gotta once you have more experience with uh, the f-35 you'll be able to tell when you're just too low and maybe you can give it one last try to lock on which i'm trying to right there and even though there's no one in it I went ahead and fired because, like I said earlier, the objective B, that little building right there, can sometimes have a lot of people around it, especially if it's uh, being captured or if your uh, team is capturing it as well. Yeah. All right, I'm being locked on, so I did the basic maneuvers of how you would see a helicopter do. Go low, just under that valley, so you can break the line of sight. And I'm really surprised since I didn't have my flares back just yet. I must have thought that I was going to get them back in time, but I am getting hit which I got really lucky that the enemy jets just didn't capitalize on that. I mean, that's what PC players would probably be like, oh yeah, that's typical console players, you know, they just, they're just bad, blah, 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 let's start a flame war. But um, that's, I, I do notice that this sometimes, and I only play on Xbox, so I can only speak for that, but what I've noticed is that people will often just engage you in the jets, and it's like, if you don't, like try to attack them right away they're like oh well he's you know it's not gonna come back and bite me in the ass so they just left as you saw i only tried to mark once and i was uh, trying to mark the helicopter but it actually ended up marking uh the i think it might be the mobile aa back there or it might just be a tank i can't tell from here but this thing is just tremendous for marking i mean even if you don't see anything or if you see one thing go ahead and hit the spot button and things will just light up they're amazing and it's really helpful for not only you but your uh your whole teammates of course i mean that's kind of the point of marking but as i said before in my first video go to the uh guided missiles and then switch to your other guns to at least disable it i do that so i can uh cause problems hopefully the guy's not an engineer so hopefully that is just taken care of if not 
Uh, I would usually go back and finish them off, but this jet has my attention. Um, I actually end up disabling at least, and I probably would have stayed and finished him off, but he, we we're going out of bounds. I'm sure he would be more willing to just go ahead and take me out of bounds, since he's obviously going to die since he's disabled. And he knew he wasn't going to make it out of there, so I went ahead and just disabled him, came back into the uh, area of combat, or whatever they call it on here. Uh, I saw one of my teammates was getting screwed back here, and uh, I tried to help him out, but I was a little too late. Right here, you got to make sure that uh, you're going to be landing in the water. That's why I kind of swung over to the left just a little bit more right before I landed. And that's another thing I want to talk about is that when you're pretty much going into hover mode, your uh, landing gear is going to be coming down, and you're you're almost kind of like a tank right there if you've seen earlier in my video is that like I'll run into like palm trees and everything and you just kind of like take these hits and sometimes it does damage sometimes it doesn't all right so let me pull this back up for you guys see what I'm gonna do is I can see that I can lock on to something here so I'll go ahead and keep it on but I also hit the spot button I see all these guys around I wait just one second maybe when they get closer to that target that I'm locked on to then I fire it I get a double kill with that missile that I launch, and then I uh, switch over to my other guns, and then I sprayed, and I picked up the third guy there. See, that's that's the type of like you can still lock on. That's great, but it, like you gotta think: is it better to just wait a second? Is there gonna be more people around my target if I just give it like two seconds, three seconds? You gotta kind of predict where the enemies are going to be, you know, moving to. So it's kind of stuff like that where. You know, you gotta be a little bit smarter than just being, okay, I'm locked on, fire. Alright, but I'm getting back into a dogfight. Um, basic tips here, I mean, you've seen the Red Dragon, he's gone over this stuff. I, uh, I try my best to get behind this guy, especially since he is on one of my teammates. I, I'll spray a couple times in front of him, just like kind of tapping the trigger to see where I'm at. And then once I get it, like right there, I go ahead and just keep down on uh, the left bumper, I believe that's the firing button. It's been a while. But, um, and then, as I said, once I get a good uh, feel of where my uh, bullets are ending up, I go ahead and just, you know, lay into this guy, and I get my kill. So that's that. Let me know, uh, you guys have left some pretty good tips in the comments, or any questions that you Why had. Why are you 16 and 0? <laughs> Why are you 16 and 0? But, uh, you guys have done a great job, uh, leaving comments, or any questions you had in the, uh, the last two videos well not the last two videos the videos that were on my channel and then once it was uploaded to the red dragon so thank you so go ahead and leave any questions you have any tips that i didn't go over um i know i didn't go over too much like the best ways to lock on to uh land vehicles when you're in that god in missile view it's, it's kind of crappy but i mean <laughs> that's the only uh fault i would say with the uh guy in missiles that and you don't get your uh, missiles back too quickly. Well, that's that. Here is another example. I just went ahead and hit the uh, the spot button, and everybody lit up like that. I saw one uh, tank down there, but I hit it, and then I knew that there were tons of people down there now, and now I go in for it. And <laughs> this me being me, I was just like, whatever, I'm doing good. And that's just how I play more often than not, trying to do stupid shit like that. So I just went ahead and went down on that guy. That's what she said, or he said, or whatever, sex joke. <laughs> but, um, as you saw there, like, if you end up going into hover mode, like, at the last second, even if your wheels aren't completely down, once you go into hover mode, your wheels are about to be down. It's like, the game has this mechanic where if you're even just, like, going down into that, into the hover mode, your wheels are going to start coming down. You're pretty much going into this tank mode that I mentioned earlier, where you can just take all this shit like like right there i could probably land it just fine see i even hit that but i'm in this hover mode so i can i don't know there's a lot more they're like a juggernaut kind of like they can take just a little bit more damage than usual like if you tried to do this stuff with another jet you'd probably be screwed so that's another advantage that the f-35 has i hope you guys liked i hope i can convey my points at least somewhat well if you have any questions Leave them in the comment section. The Red Dragon, love you long time. I hope everything is going well uh, with your mother. Uh, best of luck in the situation. Uh, hope to see more tutorials from you. And maybe um, even do another tutorial on the Jets. You know, I don't care. You could probably say my points a lot better, and I would like it better. So, everybody from the Red Dragon that's come over to my channel, thank you very much. I know a lot of you guys subbed, and I, I also noticed that I got a lot of unsubs after that. 
because you guys uh, checked my channel out and maybe you guys aren't into the whole trolling griefing thing, but that's fine. I'm not going to be as great as the Red Dragon, and I am also a different style than him. But thank you for those that have checked out my channel. Uh, love you guys a long time, and I will put you in my mouth. Thank you. DX Holter.